Hey guys, Dan Casella here. Thank you for tuning in for the very first episode of the New Jersey Civil War History page on YouTube. Uh, all right, I'm going to get right to it. The very first New Jersey I'm going to cover, his name was Delaney Sharp Veal. He's out of Bridgeton, New Jersey, born and raised. Uh, Bridgeton, New Jersey is in Cumberland County. Um, he's going to enlist in the 109th Pennsylvania. Him and his brother Moses are going to travel to Philadelphia and enlist uh, in the 109th in December or February, December of 1861 or February of, uh, of 1862. Uh, all right, so the 109th Pennsylvania, uh, they will enlist in Company F. Uh, Moses will become the captain. Delaney will serve as a private. And uh, so being being the anniversary of Gettysburg, being June 28th today, June 28th, 2020, uh, the anniversary of the day that Meade is given command of the Army of the Potomac, I'm going to start start off heavy with this stuff, with a bunch of Gettysburg stuff. So bear with me. So the first bunch of videos are all going to be, like I said, Gettysburg. Uh, all right. So here we go. Delaney Veal. Uh, enlists December of 61 in the 109th Pennsylvania Company F. Uh, 17 years old. The, the 109th Pennsylvania will be called the Curtain Light Guard. Uh, they will see first action at Cedar Mountain against Stonewall Jackson. Uh, then eventually they will be uh, reorganized into the 12th Corps. Uh, 2nd Brigade, 2nd Division, 12th Corps will be the White Patches. Uh, they'll, be, um, they'll be a part of uh, Geary's Division. Uh, they're going to be on Culp's Hill at Gettysburg. They're going to build breastworks. Notice I said build breastworks, not entrenchments. Build breastworks on, the, on Culp's Hill at Gettysburg. Uh, and then they are going to, uh, they're going to be called off uh, when John Geary is called. Uh, the, his division uh, will leave uh, George Green's brigade behind. Uh, these guys, will, Delaney will probably have looked over his shoulder and seen Green's brigade uh, scattering and spreading out the line on Culp's Hill uh, to cover the breastworks that the brigade is leaving. Uh, although the, the brigade that he is a part of is only three regiments, um, it's still a huge gap that a single brigade is going to have to cover. Anyway, so when they get to Culp's Hill, when the 109th Pennsylvania gets to Culp's Hill, uh, they will be 149 men strong. They will be commanded by Captain Frederick Gimber of Philadelphia. Um, and Company F will only have uh, Moses as commanding of the company, four sergeants and 21 privates. That is almost unheard of uh, in Civil War in Civil War times as being such a small company. Maybe not even un un unheard of. Uh, that that's an incredibly small company uh, of men. Anyway, uh, Geary's division is pulled off the line. Um, and they're going to go about on Geary's misadventure. They're going to come back to Culp's Hill the night of July 2nd. Uh, and then by 4 a.m., uh, Captain Gimber uh, will give this quote uh, on his after-action report. Uh, quote, at 4 a.m., the firing commenced immediately in our front, we occupying the right of the brigade. From occasional shots, the firing soon became regular and handsomely replied to us. A constant fire of musketry was kept up. We assisted in successfully repealing the attack of the enemy, causing terrible slaughter, throwing them into panic, and putting them into flight. Uh, at 10.30 a.m., we were relieved by a regiment of the 6th Corps, having been in action for six consecutive hours. We were retired uh, to the rear some 600 yards. Uh, okay, so the uh, 109th Pennsylvania will only suffer very minimal casualties. Um, here we go, let me find it. Uh, one color sergeant killed, uh, and two enlisted men killed as well. Uh, and one color sergeant wounded, uh, as well as five enlisted men. Now, if you think about it, that early in the morning, the 109th Pennsylvania is being seen uh, by the by the very uh, beginning lights of, of sunrise. Uh, and the first thing, and probably the only thing the Confederates could see firing at them were, was the flag. So all the fire was directed to the flag. So hence why the color guard and the men around the color guard are going to take such casualties. Uh, unfortunately, very unfortunately, one of the two, one of the three men killed in the regiment is going to be 19 year old Delaney Sharp Veal. And here I am standing at his grave in Cohansey, at the Cohansey Baptist Church in Bridgeton, uh, right outside of Bridgeton, New Jersey. Uh, all right, I'm going to take a moment here and switch the camera around so you can see his headstone. This is it Delaney S., son of Moses and Elizabeth Veal, was killed at the Battle of Gettysburg, July 3rd, 1863 aged 19 years old and then the inscription underneath is hard to read flip it back uh but that's it uh delaney uh like i said he was he was killed uh, his brother probably was responsible for helping him get reinterred here uh back home or back in new jersey with his parents um interesting story about his brother moses which i'll do another episode on him just real quick i'll get you get you moses veal uh moses will continue on uh with the 12th corps and serve in geary under geary uh, and actually be part, becoming part of his staff and uh and winning the medal of honor but that, that like i said that's for another episode 
Um, all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I can see I kept this under 300 seconds. That was the goal. Thank you again for New Jersey, uh, tuning in to New Jersey Civil War History page. Uh, if you want to like, comment, share, uh, subscribe, that would be awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for tuning in. Cheers.